morning, everyone, and welcome to day number 17 of 40. We almost had the midpoint. And we are fasting this 40 days, fasting and praying because we plan to raise an altar of manifestation in Virginia on August 5th, 2023. We are trusting God in this season, in this year for the manifestations of the sons of God. Beloved, there is no son of God who does not trust God. And a demonstration of trust is in surrender. So we come this morning, let us just unmute and declare that we surrender all to God. When we surrender all to God, then we give him the permission to use us as he pleases. And it is in he using us as he pleases that the world will see and know that indeed, we are sons of God. So let us pray this morning as we surrender ourselves before our Lord. Mighty God, Daddy, we say, hallowed be your name. Thank you, Father. Thank Gracious you. Father, we come this morning to say thank you for a new day. Thank you, Lord, for this day that you have made for us to rejoice and be glad in. Thank you, O oh, gracious God, our Father, for your love, for your great compassion, for your grace and mercy. Thank you, Father, because you alone are worthy of all grace, and you've called us over unto yourself to be your own. Father, we do not know how to surrender to you. We do not know, O oh Lord, how to trust anyone with all that is in us. Daddy, we have not learned that. And the world that we live in, Father, is not made of trust for the Lord, we pull back. We pull back Lord, even that which we are supposed to say. Even when we declare with our lips, O oh God, that we have surrendered, yet we want to be in charge. We want to be in charge. We want to make sure that everything is done as we that we are not the type that we go to battle conflicts. Thinking as opposed to having their mission. We are not the type who oh, have only us that we can pick up water and it shall become wine. We are not the type who see water and say, How we can go up on this thing. We are not the type, Lord, who would see water and say, We can separate this stuff and walk on dry land. So, Father, we say, We do not know how to surrender. Do not know, Lord, how to surrender. This morning, gracious God and Father, we come, O oh Lord, committing once more, recommitting over a total surrender. Help me, Father, where I hold on to my finances. Help me, Lord, to surrender to you. Amen. Where I hold on, O oh Lord, to where my children are going, what they are doing, making sure I have like a view 24-7 over them. Help me, Lord, to surrender that to you. Yes, Lord. And, oh, Father, every aspect of my business, I want to make sure I know I micromanage and expend all the energy that you've given me, the energy to do other things, Lord. Father, I pray that you teach me how to surrender to you. Teach me, your oh gracious God, my Father, that I will surrender. I will surrender my life to you. I will surrender my thoughts to you. I will surrender my deeds to you, oh Lord. Every action, Lord, let it be left into your hands. Teach me, Lord, to surrender my cares and my burdens to you. Oh, Lord, that I may not come in times of prayer and claim that I have surrendered my cares and my burdens to you. Then as soon as I'm done, Lord, I pick them up again and take them around about with me. 
Help me, Lord, to surrender my sickness to you. Is there anything that the Lord cannot do? Oh, Lord, in the areas where I am lame, in the areas, Lord, where I am blind, in the areas, oh, Father, where I can't feel, I can't, oh, Lord, uncomprehend. And I surrender to you. Give Lord to understand Stand total dependent on for you indeed you indeed are my creator. Oh Father, I invite you into my personal space. Lord, I decree and declare to you, O oh Lord my God, that as far as you are concerned. Daddy, I have no personal space. I have no personal space, oh God. It's all open to you, Father. Come in, Lord. Come in as much as you want. Come in as much as you need. But I have no personal space. But it is all yours, oh God. It's all yours, oh God. Even the things, Lord, that I do in secret, but I feel like no one here on the earth knows, Lord. This morning I come to you, Father. As the Lord invade that space, invade that space, Lord, so that my life, Father, be as you desire for it to be. The times, Lord, when I express doubt, in the times, oh Father, when I I look at situations and say. Mm, this is the lost case. Father, I surrender. Oh, Lord, let me go forth with your way. Let me go forth in the power of your might. Let me go forth in my trust, 100% trust in you. Let me go forth, oh Lord, with a faith that can only be described by of the Lord. And that's what I will pray to you this morning. That you will rain down the gift of faith this morning. Bring down the gift of faith this morning. Father, bring down the gift of faith this morning. Gracious God, bring down the gift of faith this morning. Mighty Jehovah, bring down the gift of faith this morning. Oh, Jehovah Rapha, bring down the gift of faith this morning. My Lord and my God, bring down this morning. That we, O oh Lord, will have the gift of that you, oh Lord, will trust in you, that there is nothing you cannot do, that we, O oh Lord, will exercise the faith that is even a hundred times greater than the size of a mustard seed. O oh Lord, rain down your gift. Papa, do not pass us by this morning. Do not pass us by this morning, O oh Lord. We have come to declare our total surrender to you. We love you, Father. We love you, Lord. Uh, we you. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. amen. You know, this morning the Lord is asking us, say, do not worry. The Lord's got this. Say, do not worry. I got this. Do not worry. You know, you know what's causing you to worry. And there is no problem that we have that we are not depending on someone to help us resolve it. Because if we were not depending on anyone, we would have fixed it. So this morning, let us pray for the volunteers who will help us fix it because the Lord has promised us that he's got this. The volunteers who are coming are capable of fixing it. So let us surrender to the will of God this morning. Beloved, let us pray. Let us name those problems one by one. Let us name those issues one by one so that as the volunteers are fixing them, we will be able to count that, yes, the Lord has done this, the Lord has done this, and we'll be able to understand how we can appreciate his goodness in our lives. Let us pray. My God, our Father, O oh Lord, we come this morning to cry to you. It's not to worry, Father. O oh Lord, our God, so many, Lord, in our families who have not given their lives to you. 
you have on their father. And when we speak to them, thank you, Father. Thank you. Because when we speak to them concerning you, they just laugh it off. Look at our own situations, especially Lord, in the area of our finances. And they begin to tell themselves. And so speak with our hearing, or they speak behind our backs. If their financial situation is like this. If their God is God, why is their financial situation like this? If their God is God, why is their health situation like this? Why do they have such a poor health report? Ah, our Father, this morning we are asking, Lord, that you send the volunteers, send the destiny help us, Lord. That for as many issues as it's in question, Father, may you send the destiny help us to move us, O oh God, from the places where we are to the place where we should be for the glory of your name. To move us, O oh God, from this place of sickness to the place of divine help. To move us, O oh Heavenly Father, from this place of doubt to a place of faith. To move us, O oh Mighty One, from this place of lack to the place of abundance and overflow. To move us, O oh, Heavenly Father, from this place of shyness and timidity. Okay. To the place of utterance and charisma. And of power and of love and of a sound mind, O oh God. So move us, O oh, gracious God, from this place of lack, from this place of deceit, from this place where we face destruction. We please, Lord, of abundant life. Exactly. Oh, Lord, from this place of darkness to the place of light. Who was oh, gracious God, our Father, from this place of tastelessness, of saltiness. In the our Father, we cry out to you this morning. Thank that you. you send, oh Lord, just the right compatriots. Send, oh Lord, just the right people. Of Oh, Lord, just the right destiny to help us to come, Lord, and move us to Amen. come, Father, and give us a take in the right direction. Amen. That we move, oh God, in the pattern that you have signed for us. Amen. That we shall not get off that trajectory, oh God. We shall not move around in circles. Lord, our Father, there shall be an advance in our lives. There shall be a recorded progress in our lives. They shall be, O oh Lord, a recapture in our lives. They shall be, O oh Lord, an expansion in our lives. They shall be, O oh God, a measurable growth in our lives, Lord. O oh, gracious God, we cannot do this by ourselves, else we would have done it. We cannot do this by ourselves, Lord, but we know that with you, Lord, everything is possible. So, Father, even as we come to you this morning, even as we surrender to you this morning, we decree and declare, O oh God, that we shall not suffer persecution at work. Send the right people, O oh Heavenly Father, to create the right atmosphere at our workplaces so that we shall not be persecuted. Now we come this morning, O oh Lord, to say we shall not suffer any form of persecution at home, at school, on the streets, Father, wherever we are. Because yes. you got our backs, Lord. So you our backs. Father, we trust in you this morning that we shall not restrict the places we go to Can just have... because we feel like certain neighborhoods are um, more dangerous. Da, 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 neighborhoods are God, more risky in the places that we cannot go to. And the fullness there. Father, we pray this day that we cannot see anything. in obedience. Father, we trust in you. And trust in you, Lord. He can the And we want to say thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. For the people you sent to work with us. We bless your name, Daddy. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Amen.
You know, the Lord continues to remind us this morning. Say, do not worry where it will come from. You know, the things that you are looking for. Maybe some bills are piling up. But the Lord is saying, do not worry where it will come from. Remember that the kingdom of God is extremely greater than all your earthly pursuits, all your earthly concerns. Do not worry where it will come from. The Lord sees you. The Lord knows you. The Lord loves you so much that he has numbered all the hairs on your head. The Lord has promised you that not a single strand of your hair falls off without him knowing. So he yes. said to us this morning, I want you to understand how to surrender and do not worry where it will come from. In Matthew, 20, in Matthew 6, verses 25 and 26, the word of God tells us, said, therefore I tell you, stop being worried or anxious, or perpetually uneasy and distracted about your life as yeah. to what you will eat or what you will drink, nor about your body as to what you will wear. Is life not more than food and the body more than clothing? Look at the birds of the air. They neither sow seed nor reap the harvest, nor gather the crops into bands. And yet your heavenly father keeps feeding them. Are you not worth much more than they? Are you not worth much more than they? The father is asking this morning. So beloved, as we pray, let us remember that the Lord himself has taken time to number the hairs on our heads and not a single strand falls off without his knowing. So let us pray and just say, Father, teach us to understand how not to worry where it will come from so that we will walk with this understanding going forth. Let us pray. Oh, my Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we receive the We thank you and pray that it's morning. We receive the standards of men. According to Matthew 6, we pray this morning. You could have come to the cross. You could tell us all that they are needed. We are not to worry or be anxious for anything. We tell God because you are Jehovah Jireh, you are a boy. Father, we thank you because you have given us examples so this morning, we come against the spirit of anxiety. Oh God, we need us to come no against the spirit of war and gather into battle. In the name of Jesus Christ, we praise you. In the name of Jesus Christ, we will trust you with all our hearts. In the name of Jesus Christ of oh God, I give you peace. Thank you, Lord. Thank you this morning, Father. Light in the name of Jesus. Mind enough. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you. Of His teaching, our just different in the name of Jesus. Rekinda ozote debo kande re de de bosi arabasi de. You know who was talking to you. Ask for him and he will give you living water. Father, this morning, oh God, I come to say, open my eyes, Lord. Open my eyes to see you. Open my eyes to understand that you are pr pr promising even the living bread, even the living water. Is it not you who kept the fruits on the backs of the Israelites in the wilderness for 40 years, oh God? They did not outgrow their clothing. Why then, Lord, should I worry about clothing? Oh, gracious God, my Father, I cry to you this day. I say, Father, teach me to know how to surrender. Teach me to know, O oh Lord, how not to worry about it. Teach me to know how not to worry about the doctor's reports that I have received for myself, for my children, for my family members, for my colleague, for my loved ones. Teach me, O oh gracious God, to understand 
not how to worry, oh God. Thank you, Lord. Things will be taken care of. For as long, Lord, as I have done my part, let me, oh Father, just rest assured that the Lord has brought my in the name of Jesus. Me, oh gracious God, God, my Father, to so understand you. that I cannot protect myself, oh God. For even when I get on the plane, let me not worry. When I get on the ships, oh Heavenly Father, and we sail in the great waters, let me not worry. When I get on the road, when I get on the rail tracks, when I get in the buses, Father, let me not worry. When I go on the trails to hike, when I go on the trails, oh Heavenly Father, to appreciate the beauty of the scenery. Lord, okay. Father, teach me, Lord, to not worry because you've got my back. You've got my back. Papa, we worry when we turn to the left and when we turn to the right, when we lie down and when we rise up, Lord, we worry about everything. Oh, gracious God, we cry to you this day. And teach us, oh, Heavenly Father, to understand that you have got our back. Oh, Lord, may we understand that it is not more important to us than it is important to you. Papa, yes. open our eyes that we will see how, oh Lord, you love us. For you love us as much as you would exchange your only begotten son for our redemption. Oh Lord, may that make meaning to us. May it create, oh God, an understanding in us, oh Father, that you are the one who will never leave us, who will never forsake us. May we trust in you this day, Father. May we not worry about it, oh Lord. Because indeed you have got our backs. We trust you, Father. We bless your name in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. 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 Matthew 6, verses 28 and 30, the word of God tells us, the why are you worried about clothes? See how the lilies and wildflowers of the field grow. They do not labor, nor do they spin wool to make clothing. Yet I <laughs> that not even Solomon in all his glory and splendor dress himself like one of these. But if God so clothes the grass of the field, which is alive and green today and tomorrow, is cut and thrown as fuel into the furnace, will he not much more clothe you? You of little faith. You of little faith. Beloved, let us trust the Lord for the gift of faith this morning. Let us trust the Lord for the gift of faith this morning. The Lord is capable of clothing us. Sometimes when we worry about these things, we may feel like we are demonstrating resp I mean, a sign that we are responsible, but it is a masquerade of faithlessness. Let us trust in the Lord. Let us trust in the Lord. I remember once when we went to, to shop for clothing and we saw a very beautiful dress of very expensive material. There wasn't a price on it. When we picked it up, we're going to the counter. We thought it was going to cost hundreds of dollars. But when we got there and it was wrong, they said 98 cents. 98 cents, beloved. The Lord will clothe you. The Lord will clothe you. Beloved, let us just unmute this morning and pray and tell the Father about the, the beautiful grass that's growing in our lawns, the beautiful flowers that we see on our way to work, and just remind the Lord that indeed, Father, we could not have put those colors together any better. And we trust that he who has done it for those plants can do much more for us. Let us pray. Father, my Father, we thank you. We thank you and we praise you this morning, oh God. We bless you, Father, for reminding us not to concern ourselves in the name of Jesus Christ. But for us to keep our eyes on you, the author and the finisher of our faith. In the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, gracious God. you're reminding us, oh God. That you quote the lily of the valley in the name of Jesus Christ. How much more would you do for us in Jesus' name? So, Father, we bless you and we praise you. 
We thank you for those things that you have allowed to cross our path in the name of Jesus Christ. Even for the example that he has given unto us this morning, oh God, about the expensive material. We thank you, Lord, that you, Father God, have provided those things that we are in need of. And all we have to do is trust you and believe you that you are the great provider, that you have our best interests at all, at all times in the name of Jesus Christ. So God, we give you praise this morning. And we bless your holy name because you're God all by yourself. Thank you, Lord, for ordering our steps in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father, for helping us not to lean to our own understanding, but trust you in the name of Jesus Christ. Trust you, Father, that you're able to do exceedingly and abundantly above all that we can ask or think according to the power that work in us. Thank you, In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. God, we thank you and we praise you. We bless you this morning in the name of Jesus Christ for bringing us to this place, oh God, that we don't concern ourselves with the clothing and what we're going to wear and what we're going to eat because you already meet those needs in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father, that you care in the name of Jesus Christ, oh God. Did you meet those needs? Because care means to meet the need before the need arrives. So we glorify you, oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, that we serve a big God, one who is alive, quick, powerful, and sharper than any two sword, and able to provide all things that we have need of. We glorify you in Jesus' name. Amen. I come this morning trust in you, Lord. That you can indeed thank you, Jesus. So weakness of mine that you cannot put your bandage over. Mm -hmm. That Lord, you can clothe me. There is no 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 situation, no condition, oh heavenly father, that I can better dress myself about. Oh mm -hmm. heavenly father. So I come to surrender to you this morning. That you will clothe me, Lord, with a garment of abundance. So that there shall be nowhere that I go to, Lord, and your overflow will not be experienced. You will be father with your garment of miracles, but no one, Lord, will encounter me and live the same. Father, you will cloth me with your garment of evangelism, O oh God, such that just walking by the streets, people will desire for me to speak with them. And when I do, O oh Lord, you will call them unto yourself. You will cloth me, Lord, with your garment of hope that the desperate, oh God, those who don't feel like they have it anymore, but when I encounter with them, they will have hope rekindled in them. Lord, we trust in you. Oh, Father, that you who clothes the lilies, you who clothes the Israelites for 40 years in the wilderness, yes. you indeed, Lord, can clothe us. Okay. And we surrender to you this morning. We surrender this to you this morning. And we cry out to you, oh God, that you will teach us to walk with this understanding. Yes, yes. Lord. In Jesus' name. Amen. And amen. 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 Matthew 6, 31 to 33. The word of God says, Say, therefore, do not worry or be anxious. Perpetually yes. uneasy and distracted, saying, What are we going to eat? What are we going to drink? Or what are we going to wear? For the pagan Gentiles eagerly seek all these things. But do not worry. For your heavenly father knows that you need them. Mm -hmm. First and most importantly, seek. They must strive after his kingdom and his righteousness. His way of doing and being right. The attitude and character of God. Seek all these things will be given to you also. So beloved, let us just... Bring ourselves to the place where we'll declare that, Lord, I will not worry. For today, you have released my supplies. Why? Because I have come to seek after you. To seek your kingdom and your righteousness. Because you know all that I need. You know the things that I need better than I do. Because yes. you are the one who knows what tomorrow looks like. Amen. So Amen. let us express our trust in the Lord this morning. Amen. Yes. Lord. My Lord, our Father, we say, Lord, we trust you. 
We trust you about everything, Lord. We will not say we have matured in this area so we can do it by ourselves. Father, we surrender everything to you. Lord, we continue to come in our life. We trust in you, Heavenly Father. All the things that we worry about, that you know much more about than we do, Father. We surrender them to you this morning. Mighty God, our Father. We come, oh Lord. We speak to ourselves. We remind ourselves about your, your promise to us. That when we seek you, when we seek your kingdom and your righteousness, and all these things, Lord, that we worry about will be added unto us. So, gracious Lord, our Father, we know that your promises are, are always, always, you are always faithful with your promises. You're capable, Lord, to do all that you say you will do. So, Father, we surrender to you. And we pray, Lord, for the grace not to worry about what to eat or what to wear or what to drink, Lord. May we not see 10 people show up in our homes and we begin to worry. Is it not you, Lord, through your son who fed 5,000 with two fishes and five loaves of bread? Oh, gracious God, why do we worry? Why do we worry, Lord? Why do we worry, Lord? Oh, Cast all of this, Lord, at your feet. Throw them, Lord, at your feet. Then help us, Lord, to overcome this hump of warriors. We O oh God, we will trust in you. Oh Lord, Lord, we will, Lord, we will understand what freedom means. The freedom that you have given us, that we should not worry. The freedom, O oh gracious God, that you have made available to us. That we should not exercise undue concern about the things that you already have in your hands to give to us. Oh, Lord, our God, teach us to understand how not to worry about these things. Because indeed, you got our backs. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. 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 In Second Kings chapter 3, verse 10 to 12. We hear the king of Israel saying, what should we do? What should we do? Just because he didn't have water to feed his army. So what should we do? The king of Israel cried out. The Lord has brought us free, has brought the three of us here to let the king of Moab defeat us. But King Jehoshaphat of Judah asked, is there no prophet of the Lord with us? If there is, we can ask the Lord what to do through him. Seek first the kingdom of God. If there is, we can ask the Lord what to do through him. Mm. One of King Joram's officers replied, Elisha's son of Shaphat is here. He used to be Elijah's personal assistant. Jehoshaphat said, yes, the Lord speaks through him. So the king of Israel, King Jehoshaphat of Judah, and the king of Edom went to consult with Elisha. Amen. Amen. Beloved, the Lord has made prophets available to us. So we should not worry when there's a prophet in our midst. Mm. Amen. Amen. Let us not worry if there's a prophet in our midst. Call them and ask. What is the Lord saying concerning this situation? Let us not be like the king of Israel who had followed the ways of Ahab and Jezebel. And because of that, any complication that he experienced, he attributed to his own sinfulness, to his own wickedness. But let us be like Jehoshaphat, who trusts in the Lord, who will go out every time regardless of how the crisis is, would say, is there no prophet of whom we can ask these things? But the Father has made it even better for us because the Lord is, the Holy Spirit is in us. We must remind ourselves that the Holy Spirit who is in us is that Holy Spirit who raised our Lord Jesus Christ from the dead. Who could do such a thing? 
to raise our Lord Jesus Christ from the dead. But the Lord says, I trust you so much with my Holy Spirit. I trust you so much with the same power that I use to raise Jesus Christ from the dead. Yet, beloved, when we are faced with small situations, we begin to worry. Let us not worry because the Lord's given us a prophet in our midst this morning. So let us pray and acknowledge how the Lord has packaged us with the same spirit that raised Jesus Christ from the dead. There Amen. is nothing that that spirit cannot do. Amen. 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 Let us pray. Our Lord and our God, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we just oh, need to gosh, we thank you and praise you this Father, morning, oh God. Reminded that we can come before you boldly in the name of Jesus Christ. Please and that's reminded you of speaking your praise upon by the things that are necessary. We need in the name of Jesus Christ. But, oh God, we do it by faith in the name of Jesus Christ. Go in the and power. by fear. That we don't worry in the name of Jesus Christ. That we don't distress you, Lord God. We move on you, Knowing that you are the great provider in the name of Jesus Christ. And we thank you, oh God, for providing all that we have need of. Demonstrate your love for us. Have mercy and your grace towards us. Demonstrate the kind of God we serve in the name of Jesus Christ. We thank you, Lord God, that the enemy, in the name of Jesus Christ, tried to, to derail us in Jesus' name, causing us to look at self, causing us to think that we are our own in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. So this morning, we bind the spirit of anxiety in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We thank you, Lord, that you did not give us the spirit of anxiety because it operates through fear in Jesus' name. So we thank you, Lord, that we lose faith in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And we thank you, Father, that our steps are being ordered by you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Thank you, Lord, that we do not fear because you did not give us a spirit of fear. You gave us love, power, and sound mind. And so this morning, each and every one of us on the platform, we receive it now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And we give you praise, Lord. We give you glory and honor. We bless your holy name, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. We say happy way this morning in the name of Jesus Christ. As you continue to lead and guide us in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Bless your name, O oh God. And you will just continue to move by your spirit as we lead not unto our own understanding. In the name of Jesus Christ, we bless you, O oh God, and we praise you this morning that you have your way and through the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth over ourselves, over our minds, in the name of Jesus Christ, over our home, and in our atmosphere, in Jesus' name. And we decree and declare that worrying is not our portion in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We declare, O oh God, that it is a sin in Jesus' name and that we operate from faith in the name of Jesus Christ, trusting and believing that you will provide whatever we have need of in the name of Jesus Christ. So, Father, forgive us. Forgive us for every area that we lack in in Jesus' name and increase our faith and we give you glory. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. In chapter 3, verses 13 to 15, the word of God says how Elisha was responding to the king of Israel. Say, so why are you coming to me, Elisha, as the king of Israel? Go to the pagan prophets of your father and mother. But King Joram of Israel said, no, for if it was the Lord who called us three kings here, only to be defeated by the kings of Moab. Elisha replied, as surely as the Lord Almighty lives, who myself, I wouldn't even bother with you except for my respect for King Jehoshaphat of Judah. Now bring me someone who can play the harp. While the harp was being played, the power of the Lord came upon Elisha. So beloved, we say, don't worry when you can worship your way through it. Be a godly person, be a godly king. Be someone who gets the attention of the prophets. Amen. 
So let us edify ourselves with psalms and hymns and spiritual songs of worship. We should not fail to, in the course of this, don't fail to recognize the nameless musicians in your life. Those who would play a role in your life and bring you to the place of victory. We don't want to forget them. Amen. Amen. So let us unmute this morning and ask the Lord for the grace to break out in worship when we encounter that difficult situation. Let us pray. Amen. 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 Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we thank you. And many times, Father, Father, you have placed, Lord, those who sing and shout. We thank you, Lord, that even in difficult times, we will still acknowledge you in the name of Jesus Christ. And you thank you, Father. We ask you to help us in the name of Jesus Christ. When we raise you during a time of difficulty, oh God, we can worship our way out. In the name of Jesus Christ, we can, oh God, praise you. We can glorify you in our praise in the name of Jesus Christ. And as we praise, oh God, that you would take us into worship in the name of Jesus Christ, that our thoughts will be satisfying unto you and glorifying in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord God, whatever desire, whatever theory that you would work in us, in the name of Jesus Christ, we yield to you now. In the name of Jesus, we yield to the leading of the Holy Spirit. That you, Holy Spirit, would have your divine way. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, God, we give you praise. And we bless you this morning. For what you're going to do and how you're going to do it. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. The one who sends us, sends us, oh God, to go in the power of your might, and you overcome every obstacle in our way. So, yes. Father, we pray this morning that may the situations, Lord, not knock us off our track, not kick us out of our games, but may we remain there. That in times of difficulties, we'll remember the walls of Jericho. In times of difficulties, oh God, we'll raise up our trumpets, we'll raise up our voices, and we will sing unto you songs of worship, Lord, and you indeed, who never fails us, will come yourself to inhabit our worship, and your myriads and myriads of angels will come along with you and sit on that situation that it shall disappear before us, even like the walls of Jericho did before your children. And we bless your name this morning. We thank you, Lord, because you continue to remind us of all that you have packaged us with. We trust, Lord, that we shall not let go. We shall not be deceived to let go the weapons that you have given us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Amen. <clears throat> you know, sometimes we are waiting for a sign. Sometimes we are saying, oh no, if I don't see it in my hand, I cannot move. I have to wait until I have it. I don't want disappointment. But the Lord is saying, when it concerns what you have asked of me, do not worry when you don't see a sign. In 2 Kings chapter 3, verses 16 to 19, the word of God says, and he, this is Elisha, said to them, this is what the Lord says. This dry valley will be filled with pools of water. Amen. 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 He said, you will, neither, you, will, you will see neither rain, neither wind nor rain, says the Lord. But this valley will be filled with water. Mm. You will have plenty for yourselves and your cattle and other animals. But this is only a simple thing for the Lord. For he will make you victorious over the army of Moab. You will conquer the best of their towns, even the fortified ones. You will cut down all their good trees, stop up all their springs, and ruin all their good land with stones. Amen. So do not worry 
if water is what you are looking for, do not worry. Because what the Lord has told you is go and dig trenches in anticipation that water will come and fill them up. Go and create valleys, the size to demonstrate the size of your faith that the Lord has said he is sending water. So you are creating the capacity to receive. Go and drive around the neighborhoods where your dream home is. If the Lord has told you that you should go, this is your season for him to provide the housing that you desire. Go and walk in the offices where the Lord has told you that he is promoting you to. He's giving you a job in. Go and walk around the businesses where the Lord has said, this is the new area that I want you to consider or to move to. See yourself using your new product. See yourself using your new clothing. Amen. Amen. Let us unmute. Whatever the water is for you, know that the Lord has promised that he will give you and prepare the environment to receive it. If you, were, if, you were, if you were looking for children, start buying the clothing for these children. Start setting up the room to receive this child. Even when the doctors give you a report that does not reflect that this is, your, this is going to happen for you. They have said you have fibroids. They have said your sperm count is low. They have said you worry about so many things. You are restless. You cannot conceive. But if the Lord has released his word this morning, know that your own water is coming. Amen. Amen. And has said, in addition to the water, he will give you even that which you did not ask for. So let Amen. us close this morning and pray. Oh, sure. Heavenly Father, we thank you. We thank you, oh God, because we will not be waiting for the sign of wind. We will not be waiting, oh God, for the sign of rain. We will not be waiting, oh Heavenly Father, for thunder and lightning. Because, Lord, we know that you who has promised to send us water, you will do so right on time, oh God, at the best time that we should get the water. So, Daddy, we bless your name this morning. We say thank you, our Father and our God. Thank you, oh most gracious God, our Father, because you have made provisions for us better than we can ever make for ourselves. We say thank you, our Lord and our God. And Father, we begin to prepare the trenches to receive. We begin, oh Lord, to prepare the trenches to receive the water. We are single, but we are going in for marriage counseling because we know, oh God, that this house has come since you have released it. Our Father and our God, we, we, we are barren or we are without children or we have children and we desire more children. But Father, this day we are preparing the room for the babies to come. Our Father and our God, we are walking in trust and confidence in you, oh God. We have applied for a position. We have requested for promotion. We have requested for an increase in our salaries. So Father, that is our expectation. We are making our budget, oh God, according to the new salaries that we are expecting. We are walking and carrying ourselves about, oh God, according to the new title that we are expecting, oh Father, because we know that you who has promised in due season, you will give to us. So for that, Father, we say thank you. Thank you, our God. Thank you, our Father. Our Lord and our God, we thank you also because you know what is better than for us than we do ourselves. So even when we come and ask for water, water to give us the strength so that we shall go to battle, Papa, you give us water and you give us victory. So we every situation that has stood as a challenge in our lives we speak to you this morning and the Lord has given us victory over you the Lord has given us victory over the, the, the stubborn the manager who has been on our case the Lord has given us victory over the child who is a bully to our children the Lord has given us victory over the neighbor who is a bully in the neighborhood the Lord has given us victory over the 
Marcos who, who, who yeah. have focused on redirecting us and bringing delays in our lives. The mm -hmm. Lord has given us victory over those who have stood as agents of stagnations in our lives. Mm -hmm. The Lord has given us victory to overcome. The Lord has given us victory even in our businesses that we shall see great returns on our investments. Mm -hmm. The Lord has given us victory and we have favor before the kings that there shall be no documents that would place before them that they will not sign. The Lord has given us victory, victory, victory. Father, we say thank you. We bless your name this morning in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. 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 Enough, we're going to pray about the next day. In 2 Kings chapter 3, verse 20 and verse 24 to 25. The word of God says, the next day at about the time when the morning sacrifice was offered, water suddenly appeared. May your water also suddenly appear in the name of Jesus. Amen. It was flowing from the direction of Edom, yes. and soon there was water everywhere. Mm -hmm. But when the Moabites arrived at the Israelite camp, the army of Israel rushed out and attacked them until they turned and ran. The army of Israel chased them into the land of Moab, destroying everything as they went. They destroyed the towns, covered their good land with stones, stopped up all the springs and cut down all the good trees. Finally, only Ker Harasheth and its stone walls were left, but the men with slings surrounded and attacked it, amen. You know, yes. this is your day for supplies. This is your day for deliverance. So I want us to just declare that the next day is my day. Amen. Let us pray. Father, Father the next Father, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we come we thank you and praise you, God. According to according to the blessings of the Lord, the Lord shall receive the word to the next day. Uh, glory to God, the next day is the day that you manifest and show out in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. But, oh God, they had water flowing from everywhere in the name of Jesus Christ. We thank the Lord for the next day in our lives in the name of Jesus Christ. In the anointing of the Lord, the power of God begin to flow through us in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. The very wellspring, O oh God, will begin to overflow in us in the name of Jesus Christ that we are able to next give to those who have a desire to drink in the name of Jesus Christ. We give you praise, O oh God, for being the great provider. Whatever anointing that we need, whatever oil needs to be flowing, whatever water needs to be running in the name of Jesus Christ for every person on this platform. I pray, oh God, that we begin to have an experience of the overflow, overflow in the name of Jesus Christ, of the move of the Spirit in our lives. And in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we give you praise this morning. We bless you for the overflow in the name of Jesus Christ. And Father, for that suddenly that will come forth in the name of Jesus Christ, we will experience that suddenly in the name of Jesus Christ. Suddenly, there is a shift in our lives. Suddenly, oh God, our understanding become enlightened. Suddenly, oh God, our thoughts will line up with your ways in the name of Jesus Christ. Suddenly, we will understand in a shadow of a doubt, oh God, what it is that you're saying to the church. Suddenly, we will know that we serve a God that is alive and quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword. Suddenly, oh God, we we'll experience a, a refreshing in the name of Jesus Christ. And so, God, we give you praise this morning. We bless you for the next day. We bless you for the next day in the name of Jesus Christ. We say, Have your divine way in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And we thank you that whatever weapon that the enemy has formed against us it will not prosper. Because you, Jehovah Shammah, you are right there. You never leave us nor forsake us. And we give you praise. Glory and honor in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 You know,
want us to declare blessings on our lives. We know what the water we are looking for is. We know why we are asking for water. It's to accomplish a greater purpose. In the case of these three nations, they were looking for water so that they could water their animals, they could water their soldiers, so they would go and fight in a war. But the Lord came and gave them water and gave them victory. So speak blessings this morning concerning your water and the battle before you. Amen. 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 We'll have this on the, on the screen. Let us just make these declarations. Father, we thank you because you have promised you, us in your word, Lord, that if we obey the commands of the Lord, the Lord and walk in the Lord, 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 you will do and all the nation of the world will see us call us blessed and clean people by the, by the Lord and they will stand in all of us in Jesus name Lord we will give you Lord will you give us in the land of Jesus unto us that Many children, numbers of nations, financial blessing, and abundant crop. In the name of Jesus, Lord, will send rain in the proper time for the rich treasure in the heavens and earth. All our work, you, Lord, will do it for us in the name of Jesus. And the nations will see us. Oh God, we will never borrow from them. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I give you praise this morning and I thank you. Lord, that we are lenders and not borrowers. That we are above and not beneath. That we are first and not last. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I pray for manifestation of your word. Concerning us each and every one of us on this platform, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, and even in the four corners of the earth of God, that your people that are called by your name help us to humble ourselves, O oh God, for these things that you have spoken, to be able to manifest in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, so you have commanded us to do so in Jesus' name. God, open up our understanding in the name of Jesus Christ, that we will know the kind of God we serve. We are the child of the doubt, not one day or two days, but God, forever and ever, amen. We give you praise, Lord, and we thank you for how you are going to manifest your will to us. In the name of Jesus Christ, because the world walk by sight, and you need to see that we serve a God that is alive and powerful. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we give you praise and glory and honor. In Jesus' name, amen. And we say our final greetings this morning. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, love of the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you. Surely, surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our life, and we will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Amen. Jesus' name.